What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why I actually decided to study pharmacy in college. And I think it's a very, very important topic to talk about because recently I've been getting a lot of questions about whether or not pharmacy school is worth it due to a lot of different trends going on, which I wanna address in a different video. But in this video, I wanna share just because I think it's very important to understand why you're actually doing what you're doing. And it's very important because you're gonna be spending many late nights and early morning studying and pharmacy school is going to pretty much dominate most of your life so it's very important that if you're actually going to do it you actually have the right reasoning behind it so i just want to share with you guys my reasoning behind it and the reason why even for me i would have still done pharmacy school even to this day but obviously everyone has different motivations for actually studying in college so in order to fully understand my thought process it's actually very important for us to go back into a time when i was around 18 years old in high school when I actually decided to study pharmacy. Well, I was actually like 17 or 16, which I still think is pretty crazy for a 17 or 16 year old to decide upon their career. So the first key point that I made to actually decide upon studying pharmacy was to do what you're good at. You know, one of the things I learned from school was that I was not very good at English. I was not very good at history. But one thing I was really good at was mathematics and science. So like for me, I knew I was gonna do a career in a STEM related field which stands for like science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. So for me, it just made sense that like one of those career paths was gonna be my main like bread and butter because that's what I was good at and that's what I was getting rewarded for when I was in school. And so that basically was narrowed down a lot of my choices to a STEM field, which is also known to have a lot more high paying jobs, which is also a very good thing. So the next key point is to do what you're curious about. So once I actually decided I was gonna do a STEM related field, it became whether or not I was more interested in studying about, you know, financial equations or like finances in general, understanding um, mathematical equations for engineering or uh, actually learning about the human body. So for me, it just made more sense to learn about the human body, which is going to lead me to my next point, which is going to be like, do what you will not regret. Because I think learning about the human body is something that you can never really like not know. And like me learning about it is always going to be beneficial. And I can always learn about finances and stuff like that. But the difference was that like for pharmacy, like you can only do pharmacy unless you actually had a degree in pharmacy. Whereas like other careers, you don't really need to have a specific degree to per se. You can actually like get into it through learning on your own and finding the right connections. Well, as pharmacy, you need to have, or any healthcare profession in general, you need to have that exact credential and the passing license exams. Um, which I thought was very interesting. So it made more sense for me to like do something that I know was gonna be um, a lot harder um, and make me sure that I can actually learn to get health as much as possible. So on top of that, I'm also an African-American male. Um, the fact that my parents come from a different country and a lot of people that are around me don't actually understand the healthcare space. It just made more sense for me to understand um, healthcare because I know I wouldn't regret it. I knew that it would make a beneficial impact on other people around me especially my parents who are getting older in age and also my friends and family. Cause even now to this day, I've been able to help them um, on certain aspects of healthcare and I'm able to actually give them advice on different parts of insurance policies or like OTC medication they can take or even just managing um, some of their chronic diseases, how to actually interpret it and how to actually use it properly so that you can get the best impact from the drug and also like make lifestyle modifications to help you hopefully get off of drugs or you know take lower doses of the drugs. And then ultimately, I think, in my own personal opinion, I think having someone that understands health and healthcare is an invaluable asset. And knowing that most people actually go um, through financial burden through healthcare costs, so being able to like mitigate that risk and having someone that you can rely upon to actually give you good advice is very important. Or learning it yourself, obviously which it takes a lot of time to do. And then on top of that, I think that one of the quotes I thought about a lot was when I talked to old people, they talked about how like, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Like you can be the richest man in the world, but if you don't have the health to actually use your expenses or use the money you're making, then it doesn't matter, it doesn't really matter which, how much money you have. And if you're not able to like actually enjoy your life, you know, with your friends, your family, and those close to you, then like, What's the point of it all for me? That's one of the things that I thought about a lot um, in the long term. So that's why I think pharmacy for me was a better long term investment into my own life and those around me. Now, at this point, 
obviously I knew I was going to be in healthcare, but there's other professions in healthcare, like a nurse, doctor, PA, and pharmacist. So for me, I actually was looking at each profession and like how long it takes for each one of them and making sure they actually make sense for me. My mom is actually a nurse, so for me, I couldn't really do it because she constantly told me stories about how bad nursing was, even though obviously it's still a good career because she's still doing it to this day. But for me, I just knew I wasn't a hands-on person. So for me, nursing was out of the picture. And that kind of is similar to PA and doctor. Ultimately, I didn't do a doctor degree because even though I really liked healthcare and I really loved science, I knew I wasn't the best at it. And that's one of the main things that I thought about was that like, would I be able to actually finish if I went to med school and actually with residency and then become an attending, like you're spending a lot of time and investment into that field. And if you don't finish it, you're kind of wasting your time was my impression. So for me, I like pharmacy, the fact that it was only um, six years when I first started high school. And the fact that like you, get, you can get a job if you want school, if you want to, you can also do residency or do a fellowship afterwards. But I like the fact that you're getting all that knowledge in a short amount of time and you're also not super hands-on with the patient. So that's something that I thought about a lot was because back then I was super scared of having blood around me or touching people in general. I was not the kind of person that was like really like communicating with a lot of people, which is kind of funny because communication is very key in whatever healthcare profession you do. Back then I was a very shy person, so it's hard for me to think about really talking to a patient. And for me, I just thought about a pharmacist behind the counter, just like dispensing drugs, which obviously is not the case because now I learned since pharmacy school that communication and talking with patients is one of the crucial aspects of being a pharmacist. But for me, I just had that picture in my head. So that really influenced what I thought about it, leading to my last point, which was me shadowing a professional. So my mom being a nurse allowed me to actually go to a hospital where I got to actually shadow healthcare professionals in the hospital. So I got to go from the administrators, the doctors, the nurses, the PAs, and the person that really um, shocked me the most was the pharmacist because they were the person that really knew about the drugs and they had so much knowledge about it that for me, I just thought about that. Like I would love to be the kind of person that has that kind of knowledge about things and can use that in a way um, to help patients in patient care. You know, and it's not super hands-on. I like the fact that they will use knowledge in many different assets. And for me, I just like the way the pharmacist was maneuvering and working. And I like the fact that like they were able to like work on other projects outside of just pharmacy. Because for me, like I knew that I was the kind of person that really, really enjoyed um, things on the outside. I knew I was gonna have other passions besides just pharmacy. And I like the fact that, for example, my manager, one of the things she does, she works two days a week. And then her schedule was very flexible in that she can work extra if she wanted to or less. But pretty much she was working two days a week. And then on top of that, every three weeks she was working maybe um, the weekend. So that was a pretty good schedule for me. I thought about that for a while, the retail schedule. I like that a lot. So having the flexibility of working in the hospital nine to five every single day or working, you know, two days a week and then doing every third week you do the weekends. So I like the flexibility of it all. So I really, really like that, and that's kind of the main reason why I chose to do pharmacy. And I think that that's something that I thought about a lot over my course of my high school career. And yeah, I think ultimately, the thing I like most about pharmacists though, I would say now that I finish, is the fact that pharmacists are the ones that are the knowledge-based experts on the medications itself. Like knowing how to use medications is so important because a lot of patients don't use medication optimally. And even if you're diagnosed correctly, it's so important to have a good pharmacist or understand some of the pharmacy aspects of medications so that way you can actually use them correctly. I think one thing I thought about a lot was like, for example, diabetes patients. Like you see a doctor maybe every three months, we see a pharmacist once every single month. So like that's just a huge difference. And most people usually see a pharmacist more than see a doctor. And you're able to actually use that knowledge to help patient care and make a lot more interventions if you have the time to. And you can actually help with like, help patients with no one understanding things. Like for example, the vaccine that came out, I was helping patients understand how the vaccine works, how the immunology process works to help build antibodies in your body. I think that's something that I just really, really enjoyed doing was just helping help people learn about different aspects of healthcare in a way that like, they can easily just talk to me real quickly and learn in a simple fashion. So being able to like, 
talk about complex topics in a simple fashion, something that pharmacists do every single day. And I really, really enjoyed that aspect of it. So for me, I would definitely do it again. And I really think that pharmacists are a great asset to have. So ultimately, I will say as someone that's basically finished pharmacy school and now doing license exams, I will say what I think the reason why I really like pharmacy the most is the fact that you're able to actually manage a lot of self-care treatments very easily. You're able to like help patients on a one-to-one -one basis um, about like small things so they don't have to go to the emergency room before it gets too bad. You can probably refer them if they need to, um, if it gets like to a case where they need to see an actual doctor. I like the fact that also like you pretty much have a career lined up, which is one of the reasons why I didn't do like a chemistry or biology major. I want I want something more focused that could be applicable, that has a pretty good salary for me. And then lastly, I think the main important thing for me was just making sure that I had the knowledge to share to other people. Like having a teacher role basically where you're able to learn very, very complex things and then help the general public understand them in very simple aspects is something that I really, really liked about pharmacy. And I like about pharmacists in general, so that's something that I really think is underutilized and underappreciated about pharmacists that I think more people should actually look at. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.